In this video, we're going to learn how to load, modify, and create patterns in Consequences Sequencer section. We'll start by looking at how the sequencer section is put together. At the top is the modulation sequencer, which controls parameters in the instruments, filter, and effects modules. The performance sequencer handles articulation, register, and rhythm. The gate sequencer triggers notes and is the most basic part of any sequencer, while the chord sequencer determines which notes are played from the chord memory section. Together with the chord memory module, the chord sequencer tells Consequence what notes to play. Finally, the global section controls the whole sequencer. We'll start with the gate sequencer. Let's load a preset and click on Play. To create a gate pattern from scratch, reset with the Initialize button. Click to create individual triggers. The height of the step determines its loudness. For fine adjustment, shift-click and drag up or down. Click and drag to freely draw multiple steps, and Command-click and drag to create linear step motion. This is great for making filter sweeps in the modulation section. Instead of starting from scratch, you can choose basic pattern presets from this list and then click the arrow to apply the pattern. Another way to lay down a pattern is to copy and paste from other sequences. This extremely practical feature also works between different Consequence global presets or even different instances of Consequence. Adjust the global length of your patterns with a loop bar. Click and drag at the beginning or end to modify length and click and drag in the middle to move the sequenced area within your overall pattern. The chord section consists of both the chord sequencer and the chord memory. Chord memory contains all the individual notes or chords triggered by the gate sequencer. The chord sequencer determines which of those notes or chords are played at any given time. To illustrate, reset everything to zero and load an instrument sound. We'll add a pattern preset to the gate sequencer. At first we don't hear anything, but clicking on one or more notes on the keyboard plays those notes. Notice that in this row of numbers, from 1 to 16, the number 1 is lit up. 16 is the total number of different chords which can be stored in the bank. In addition, each individual chord can have up to 16 notes. When we click on 2, the sound stops because this chord slot is empty. This time, choose F and A. The chord sequencer determines when these two different sets of notes are played depending on the height of the step on the raster, which represents the 16 different positions in the chord memory bank. Moving some steps to the second position plays the second chord played at that point in the sequence. If chord changes are too fast, use the half-time or quarter-time chord clock divide. And if you don't want to build all your chords by hand, you can choose pre-built chord bank presets or even save your own. Or you can build your sequence with pre-voiced chords with the create chord function. To do this, we'll reset with all empty. Choose a root key by either clicking on the key name or on the arrow keys to increment up or down the scale by half steps. Choose the chord type the same way. After choosing, click on this arrow key and the chord is on our bank slot. I'll do a 1, 4, 5 progression on the first three slots of the chord bank. I can further customize the chords on the keyboard. Don't forget to take advantage of copy and paste in case you find a chord from another preset that you want to use. After pasting, use the transpose arrows to shift chords up or down in half-step intervals. You also have a choice of input modes. 
Manual lets you change chords by clicking on another chord slot. With MIDI, you can play the chords with a physical MIDI keyboard. By switching the global trigger setting to internal, Consequence is triggered only when I'm playing on my MIDI keyboard, and I can play sequenced chords live. For more information, check out the Consequence Manual. But now you should know enough to do some pattern building on your own.